This is a demonstration of some techniques in MM Solver, including sliding or floating locators. So the first thing we're going to do is very simple. So we're going to line up this desk to here. So if we look at it, we see that there's three tracking points for the corners of the desk. And then on the table itself, there's three bundles at these corners. So here we've got the, the, the markers and we only are going to go for these three transforms because those are the only things that make sense. It doesn't make any sense to do an RZ on this. So let's set these to animated, which is wrong, but we're going to do it. Okay. And we can see right here that it's got static and animated. And right here when you change these here, it knows that these are animated or static. So we solve this. So this looks good. The only thing is we don't really want to have animation on this because it's shaking around. So MMSolver will do combinations of animated and static parameters. So let's delete these. As soon as we do that and make these static, these will become static. And there's also a pull down here for the different modes of animated or static. So this is the good one here, static and animated for this. And so let's change its position a little bit here. And because we only have um, three degrees of freedom, you know, we can get away with having a small number of markers. So let's solve. Well, notice that when you do static solves, the interface looks very different because it's a global solve. Uh, normally in MM Solver, each frame just looks at itself. Um, but when you've got a static one, the different frames have to look at one another. So you can come up with an average static value. And so here, that's working nicely. So the next thing we want to do is the door. So the idea on the door is that... Uh, we can't actually find a good feature on the edge to track. So if we look at this, the red marker is our mark. And we can't quite figure out what to do with this edge. So what we're going to do is that we're going to have a child underneath this, which is the uh, sliding locator. As you can see right here, we'll uh, animate the rotation, but then also we'll have a static value that will lock where the uh, locator is. So if we look at this, the door is not moving. And so here we can see it's going to animate rotate and translate Y. Again, so let's go for a solve here. If we look at it carefully, we'll see that the 2D marker is going up and down. But the sliding locator is remaining stationary. There's one other technique that we'd like to get into more in the future, which is um, point on curve. So let's create a NURBS curve. And then we'll take a um, marker. And then we can go here. There's a tool called um, Attach Bundle to Curve. So we'll take a bundle and attach it to this curve. So if we check out this thing here, 
what it's doing is it's figuring out what the U is of this curve and we're animating instead of doing a line constraint we can do a curve constraint and there's many possibilities with this because an MM solver uh, any almost any parameter or any attribute can be put into the list of what's to be solved so this is something for the future uh, to uh, do solves on curves or domes that don't have any features.